Hey yo, how's it going everyone? It's Dustin back again with another video and in today's video, I thought about making a video about how do I stream. It will give you some insights about what I'm doing every single day. So it will also like help you understand. Not many people are going to enjoy this or watch this video but I thought it would be really fun since so many people are asking like what all the equipments you are using to stream and how do I stream it like I don't know how to configure it or something like that so I thought let's do that let's do that today so I'm going to be showing you guys two apps that I use to stream every day so one is Omelet Arcade and Streamlabs so you can record internal audio on Omelet and you cannot on Streamlabs both of them has their downsides and upsides so it's up to you to choose which app you are going to use to live stream and without any further delay let's get right into the video and if you guys are new here consider dropping a sub i make call of duty mobile videos and let's just jump into it so first of all go on to the play store app and you will see when you type omelet arcade so to explain omelet arcade it's a live streaming platform just like twitch trobo or something like that so this is a streaming community so omelet arcade has a different community but you can use this app to live stream to youtube twitch facebook even to a custom service like trobo mixer and stuff like that so click install on it and wait for it to get installed and i'll see you in a bit so now the omelet arcade has installed so you have to create an account so if you click on the create account you have to enter an id it has to be unique be slayer something something okay let's say who who takes this okay so now it will create an account for you so if you already have an account click on have an account and it will take you to the login page you have to enter your omelet id and i'm entering mine and you have to enter the password and you should be able to log in now i have logged in so you will see this screen so all you have to do is you have to click on enable now so it's giving you the usage access to the omelet arcade so it will display there are like little icon over the top of the gameplay you're recording so that's why th you are allowing this permission and this is the second screen so you have to scroll down click on omelet arcade and permit the usage access so I don't know what it does but it doesn't collect like data or something so you should be good enabling this and after that you should be able to see the home screen the home screen will look like this it's like similar to the streaming community or apps website or something like that so these are the like home page these are all the streams that's going on and you can add posts and whatever you want to do and if you want to go live you have to click the plus icon and click go live it will need some permissions you should be able to see a screen like this where it will show all the games that's available in your phone i have call of duty mobile as you guys can see and you have to click on that then this is the next part so you have to log in with your youtube account so here i have logged in with my second channel so this is how it looks like after you logged in so you have to allow this permission so it will give access to omelet arcade to like access your streaming settings and stuff like that so log in with the account and you should be able to see your channel name and what it is on this part of the section and click next on it then you should be able to see a screen like this so to customize the quality and stuff like that you have to go to the stream settings and set the streaming quality to whatever you can like run the speed test if you run the speed test it will show like what are all the quality you can stream without lag so mine can go up to 1080p without lag so i select 1080p most of the time also know this if you stream at 1080p 
you will see a uh, omelet arcade watermark on the right bottom corner of the screen so if you guys don't want the watermark on your videos stream at 720p it won't appear this is the title bar on the top you have to change your title then only it will show the same title on youtube as well so second one is description box you can change the description and advanced settings it's related to omelette arcade you don't really need that and if you hit start it will ask like do you really want to record your screen or something like that click allow it and it will directly stream your screen to youtube and you should be able to read your messages on top as well so you don't really need a pc if you have this app that's the omelette arcade tutorial now let's move on to the streamlabs one same process as the omelette arcade go to the play store find the streamlabs app and install it wait for it to install and i'll see you in a bit so the streamlabs interface is really different like compared to omelette arcade it's a live streaming app it's not a like a platform or something so first of all you have to log in with your youtube account or any account you are you want to use so if you want to like stream your screen only you have to click on the screen and click next but if you want to add a camera and stuff like that click on screen and check the camera as well and click next so i do screen only so i'm checking screen and i'm hitting next next up is streamlabs essential alert box it will alert you whenever someone subscribes to your channel makes donations super chat and whatever it is event list i don't know about that chat box obviously it will show you the chat the jar it's like represents the donation you can set donation goals and stuff like that you don't need any of these things as of now i believe so click on the alert box if you want you can uncheck if you want i need it like i prefer having it so let's let's do the next step click on done and enable camera and mic permission click on allow after you're done with that you will see a screen like this so when you hit the live button which is like located on the center of the screen which is in red color if you hit that it will record all the screen all the sensitive information do you really want to enable it or something like that click start now you should be good so you have to go to the top left corner of the screen click on the three bar button and you should be able to see a screen like this click on settings and in here you should be able to customize the quality of the stream by going into the broadcast section and you should be able to see the output the bitrate and stuff like that so it doesn't matter whatever the quality you're streaming you're always going to see a watermark to make this watermark go away you have to buy streamlabs premium i wouldn't recommend it you can live with a watermark so go for the high quality which is 1080p i would love to show you the like home screen when you click on start now but it will cancel the recording i'm recording this for the second time so i don't want to show that you will see a menu like persistent active event and two other option so if you want to create a new stream click on the persistent it will create a new stream for you and start streaming and if you click on the active event if you like get cut off in the middle of streaming like power cut happened or something like that and if you want to pick up like where you left off you can click on the active option and i don't know about the two other option i haven't tried it yet so these are all the apps that i wanted to show so as i said earlier in this video streamlabs doesn't support internal audio when compared to omelette arcade but the quality is much better in streamlabs when compared to omelette arcade so it's up to you it's your choice to make i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this video was informative if you did leave a like and smash subscribe and turn on those post notification for daily videos like this and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye